James here from GoodGuitarist.com, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play another nursery rhyme. Today, it's Five Little Ducks. This is also the same chords and melody as Hush Little Baby. I'm teaching some nursery rhymes now because I'm a father myself. When I first started this channel, fatherhood was the last thing on my mind, but now, you know, with my second child almost on the way, they're probably born by the time this lesson's coming out, for sure. Um, you know, I've learned the value of how these sort of songs can help you connect with your children. You know, as much as right now my daughter loves Nowhere Man, she's super into that. It's an awesome Beatles tune. I'm going to be making a lesson for that soon as well. But, um, you know, as much as she loves that and she sings along with it, she also loves singing along with these sort of tunes. And when I play them for her, you know, she'll go and get her, her little rubber duck and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's a really great way, whether you're... Uh, cool aunt or uncle, a grandparent. If you're a parent who has time to learn guitar, which, I'm, you know, that might not be the case yet, but it is a great way to connect with your children. So, you know, I just thought I'd create a series, a new episode every other Monday to help do that. Um, there's a chord chart available for this on my Patreon page, and that has all the stuff that we're going to be doing in this lesson written out in a printable format, so you can follow along with it afterwards. There's also a songbook full of 24 children's songs in two keys each, which is a great training tool for learning guitar as well. And that's also available on my Patreon. Anyways, with that said, let's get started. This one's just a two chord song, C and G. And G. And if you're a bit newer to guitar, I have a free ebook. It's completely free to all my subscribers that goes over all the basics, has training videos, everything you need to be able to easily switch between chord shapes like that. So please check those out. I'll put a link below and I'll put a video in the corner there if you want help practicing that particular chord switch. Otherwise, we're going to assume that you're already familiar with C and G. And we're going to take a moment to play them in the order you would find them in the song, using downstrokes only, nice and slow, starting on C. One, two, three, four. Five little ducks went out one day. Four. One, two, three, four. One, So make sure you can do that, downstrokes only, counting out loud, just so we can get the chords in the right order, nice and smooth, work on our switches a little bit. And then the next step is to add the strumming pattern. It goes like this. And that's really simple. It's just down, down, up. Downstroke on beat one, down, up on beat two. So if we count out loud, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Down, down, up, down, down, up. If you find that it's difficult for you to feel that and be able to smoothly play the rhythm, I have a seven day beginner challenge. It's a free course available on my website. I'll put a link to that down below. And we focus almost exclusively on that. You know, the first couple lessons are about some simple chord stuff, but then it's all rhythm. So please check that out if you need any extra help with it. Otherwise, we're gonna take that strumming pattern and we're gonna put it together with our chord shapes. And when you see the chords floating along the top there, we do our strumming pattern one time for every chord symbol that you see. Here we go, starting on C. One, two, down, down, up.
So that's the chords and strumming. Now, if you want to add some singing to it, I recommend going back to downstrokes only, because that way, you know, you're singing with a particular rhythm, you're strumming with a particular rhythm. That's a bit much to put together sometimes. So that way we just have simple downstrokes only rhythm and you can practice singing along. There's also a backing track later in this tutorial that you can practice playing, singing, doing the melody, whatever it is that you'd like. Anyways, next we're going to check out the melody. We're going to work it phrase by phrase. The first phrase goes like this. So we're starting off on the open G string, and then we go to the high E string, open three times. So. Then I'm going to put my first finger on the first fret of the thinnest string, back to the open string, and then my third finger goes on the third fret of the B string. So all in all, Take a second with that, and then we can try it together. Three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four. The next phrase goes like this. So we're starting off on the open G string and then the third fret of the B string three times, and then the open E string. So just that part. And then on the B string, three, one, one. And notice I played it with my third finger and my first finger. So my third finger on the third fret, first finger on the first fret. That's easy to remember. Take a moment with those notes, then we'll do it together nice and slow. One two, three, four. The next phrase is really similar to the first phrase. It goes like this. So it's the same notes in the same order. We just play some of them more or less times. We're starting off on the G string. We play it two times. Then we go to the high E string two times, then the same ending. So if you practice the first phrase, this one shouldn't be too much trouble. We'll try it together nice and slow. One, two, three, four. The fourth phrase is the same as the second one. Finally, during the counting part, we just play the open G string. One, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. And as the song goes on, there's less and less ducks, so we only have to go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and then we just wait during three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. You know, you just, when you run out of ducks to count, you just let the chords keep going, and then you join in back at the top. So now let's try that melody all together nice and slow. One, two, three, four. And there's three ducks. Three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. So that's the melody, and at this point we have the melody 
and the chords. Now I have a backing track for you so you can practice this. It'll feel like you're playing with somebody else. It's not too fast, not too slow. And you can try the strumming and chords. You can try the melody. You can practice singing, whatever you like. Here we go. One, two, three. So that's how you play Five Little Ducks or Hush Little Baby. You just have to change the lyrics and it could be either of those tunes. If you need any extra help, don't forget there's that chord chart on my Patreon page. There's the Kids Songbook, which has 24 of those all together in a nice little booklet in two keys each. There's also my free ebook, which helps you with all the fundamentals, my complete beginner's course, which takes that a step further, guides you through the entire process from absolute beginner to confident strummer. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to help support the channel. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.